We got all excited uh, a couple of days ago when we heard that perhaps the strikes, the transport strike was over 15,000 workers going back. It's not quite as simple as that. Where does Satawu stand at the moment? Satawu uh, is still on uh, strike and uh, Satawu is still getting a fresher mandate from his members in the form of consulting to find if it is possible that they can accept any other offer except uh, uh, the 12 percent but not not you know not compromising into their lifetime and what they want and we respect that and we have to be committed to their needs and we cannot therefore compromise them and we cannot also take decisions outside of their consultation we are a democratic organization we have to be able to lead by example and at this point in time yeah. Uh, our negotiators are still uh, receiving the feedback. The national leadership has dedicated itself as well into ensuring that they intervene as to what is going on in the sector right now. Further to that, the CCMA has facilitated that probably the, uh, the last round of meetings with the employers later this evening to find the possibility of a settlement. Yeah, you obviously have the needs of your members at, 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 the, at the heart of these negotiations, uh, Vincent. Um, you say you're a democratic organisation. You also say you're committed to their needs. But on the other hand, you can guide them as well. I mean, I noticed in a press release, and you can tell me if this is wrong, that Satawu members have expressed that they will not settle for anything less than double-digit uh, double digit increases, citing that if Lonmin workers can get it, then Satawu members should get it as well. But other people might say to you, the, the, the two industries are completely unrelated and the circumstances surrounding the Lonmin settlement were completely different to the Satawu situation. Would you not agree? Yeah, but we, the ends we are saying we, are, we don't want any 2%, and they've got 22%. But we, we and, and we understand the circumstances, we, we understand all these other matters that could have contributed towards the, the circumstances, therefore, such as the situation in which workers are in, and what could have pushed them to sustain their action to, to an extent that they had to get uh, paid, even if they were not uh, on a legal strike. On our part, we think that, look, we are going through all the process of the Labor Relations Act. We are going through uh, all legal uh, 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 channels. And on top of it, we are saying that, look, uh, the 12% is not really that much from a, a meaningful a meaningful uh, incre increment point of view. But we are saying that, look, it's possible that uh, they could uh, effect this meaningful change by giving them this uh, 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 wage increase. And certainly the, 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 the conditions will improve. Uh, I know people are saying that this will hurt the economy. In what way, we don't know, because the very same people that are aiming and now a double-digit increase uh, will be the ones that will be uh, uh, spending more uh, in, in, the, in the retail space, uh, through through more consumer goods, uh, and 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 and, and, and in, through building more of their houses, and and, and so forth. Uh, it's not necessarily to say that this money is, is like getting lost somewhere. I think that the economy will also benefit, even though it could be on the other pocket. Uh, and at this point in time, we understand, and we we say that look. Uh, in so far as the consultation of our members is concerned, it is important that we, we, we don't take decisions outside of, of going through whatever the views we see uh, possible with them. Hence, we say that we, we have to speak to them uh, much as we are providing guidance and leadership. We are telling them about the reality of the situation in terms of what we are facing, the resistance, as well as the difficulties that uh, everybody else is facing, the, the difficulties that the economy is facing, the globe is facing generally in terms of recession. But even, uh, even about Very, very that, quickly. Yeah, Sorry, Vincent. Yeah. Yes. Vincent, can I just interrupt you very, very quickly? I understand that three smaller unions have accepted a lower settlement. Have you been in consultation with those unions and do you think your members might follow them? Very quickly, if you would. Yeah, we know that those unions have accepted lower ages, but we don't know what the bearing it has on their members. And uh, look, we, 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 we choose not to, to talk on their behalf at this point in time, but rather we finish the discussions with the employers as well and find a way of ensuring that we end the strike. And we are certain that it might end this evening.